The joy of motherhood is overflowing. Beautiful son. He's 11 I'm months. an adoptive mom. I had prayed for children with my husband. We had Jillian on November 26, 2008 at 4.30 in the morning after five hours of labor. And we <laughs> prayed for sibling girls. My children are born from my heart. And on March 1st, 2009, we had our baby boy. And I can't believe how the time has just flown by. And it's just the greatest joy in the world. I'd give you the moon, but you never know the warmth of the sunshine. I'd give you the world, but exactly what would that do? I'd promise you wings to fly, but how? So I wish you all you need to be more than I could be. And this is what I wish for you. It took us a while to get pregnant. And I thought for a long time, I may never have a baby. For everything that I've been through, God has blessed me so much. I have a wonderful husband and I really have the perfect life. If I don't, if I don't have a baby, I'll be okay because this is more than I could have, somebody like me could have ever asked for. But then I knew in the back of my mind that being a mom is what I wanted more than anything in the world. And he's just the joy of my life. I love being a mom so much. I give you rainy days so you can know the beauty of a clear blue sky. And I give you falling rain so you understand that season change and if I gave you the mountains would you learn to climb I pray you'll always see the forest through the trees and this is what I wish for you and this is what fostering our first one at 15 months. Eight months later, her older sister came into our lives. My children come from a long history of, of abuse. They, they have suffered. My background in social work has allowed me to be able to work with children of special needs. I wondered for many years why couldn't I have children. And I really believe that God knew that these children would need a mother and that I could be that mother. They have made me a mother. If I could say the words and chase your fears away, and I'd stay right by your side and show the way that you should take. But this is your life, this is your story, and when all is done and said, I hope you live. How he, he has created us to depend on Him and need Him in the way that babies need their mommy and daddy. I see just how much delight God has in fulfilling those needs, that He created us to depend on Him. And when we seek Him and we ask Him to fulfill those needs, it actually brings Him joy to meet those needs and to provide for us and care for us and love us. I wish you ocean breeze and rivers that can bring you everything you need. And I wish the air you breathe is all that you'll ever need. And I wish you nights of love and days of joy and shoulders when you cry. And just enough hellos to get you through.
incredible, incredible feeling to know that nobody else can nourish her and nobody can calm her down the way that I can as her mom. And no matter what your child goes through and no matter what you're going through, you're gonna love that baby. You're gonna love your daughter. You're gonna love your son no matter what happens. My wish is that he knows that through the good and the bad, just follow the Lord. If I had one wish, it would be that at a very early age, that he would make a lifelong decision to accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. My wish for my children is that they grow up to truly know that they are loved. That's what they need. They need that love. He gave us the ultimate sacrifice by giving us his son. I can love that child unconditionally because he loved me that way first. And that is incredible to me.